Hello, everyone, and welcome to Brittany's Gram. We're here, as you've already found out, this is a special emergency episode. This is a special emergency episode. We are dropping it early. Um, we usually come out on Thursday mornings, but we decided that this couldn't wait, basically. Yeah, uh, this is this is a big deal, guys. I hope that wherever you are, you're somewhere that you're able to receive some big information and feel a lot of things and have your mind blown. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. We... Um, we basically, we got a, you know, we have a hotline people call in, they leave us messages. We got a voicemail from an anonymous source uh, that we have verified, worked as a paralegal in an office involved in Britney's conservatorship. Um, that voicemail is going to come up a little bit later, mm -hmm. but we did want to go over what's been happening because we know a lot of new people might listen to this, <laughs> this episode and yeah. they might need to be caught up a little bit there. It's hard to do everything, but we're going to try and catch you up as much as we can. Yeah. So all of our uh, current listeners take a couple breaths while we go through this. Uh, yeah. So for those of you guys who are kind of brand new to all of this. Uh, you may or may not know that Britney Spears, uh, since 2008, when, as we all know, she shaved her head, uh, has been under a conservatorship. Uh, if you're not familiar with that, is that is when somebody else acts as your legal guardian and is in charge of not only all of your money, but all of your personal decisions, whether you can get married, they sign all of your contracts for you, they oversee your medical care, uh, they can put all kinds of restrictions on your life. Yeah, every financial decision, mm -hmm. like you're in every, everything that you do has to be up to someone else. Yes. And usually these kind of conservatorships are for people who are in comas, they're not, you know, able to fend for themselves in any way, they're, you know, incapacitated, generally. Exactly. Yeah, a lot of times very elderly people are under them, and, and you know, there are times when they're medically necessary, but there are instances where these get abused by people. Uh, so Britney Spears has, since 2008, been under one of these conservatorships. She's had two guardians. Her dad, who has operated as the conservator of all, of her estate, all her money, and also her person. So all of her personal decisions, her entire life, her comings and goings. And a man named Andrew Wallet, who was only the conservator of her estate. Right. And Andrew Wallet came on at the time, at the beginning as well. Yes. And yes, Andrew Wallet has been on board, had been on board, we should say, uh, starting in 2008 when Brittany was hospitalized at UCLA Medical, all the way until very recently, uh, this year, March 6th, 2019, Andrew Wallet abruptly resigned so ba so basically Brittany you know it, there's a lot of stuff that went into the happenings behind when the conservatorship started we can't it's going to take a lot of time to go into all of that you guys I would definitely suggest uh, Tess wrote a really really interesting article about all the details leading up to that moment that you can find on our website Brittany'sGram.com. we're also posting a medium but and there's also a really good New York Times article about it last year so you can find all the like minute by minute details about what happened leading up to getting Britney into the conservatorship. But we're going to kind of fast forward. So basically she's been under this thing for a very long time. Um, there's been a lot of seemingly indications that, you know, she, there's been little hints that maybe she wants out, but everyone's like, Oh, this is what's best for her, et cetera. Mm -hmm. So, you know, so she was just operating under that. Yes. And she was Britney Spears as we know her. She was doing world tours. She had, as we know, a very successful residency in Las Vegas where she was performing several nights a week to a very lucrative residency. After that residency, she went on a world tour. Then, following that world tour, she was teed up to do another residency in Las Vegas. Right away, yeah. Mm -hmm. They're doing rehearsals for this. They're posting about it. It's called Domination. They do a very strange announcement where Britney seems to be having maybe a panic attack or something. She just doesn't want to be there. Mm -hmm. She kind of dips out. And so it, it all seems a little strange, but also Brit, you know, she's, she's kooky and we're like, all right, we're just loving her for her. And seems like she's having fun. She seemed like she was having a great time rehearsing and getting ready for it. Yes. Um, and then at the beginning of this year, January 4th, 2019, it's announced on Brittany's Instagram that she's canceling the residency to look after her father who recently almost died, as it says in her, post yeah that was the verbiage used in the post almost died right so okay her father's colon ruptured and he had to have some surgeries yes three days after that announcement britney is spotted driving through the in and out drive through with her boyfriend sam Mascari. uh we just see them getting hamburgers driving through an in and out drive through in california in california obviously. yes <laughs> not in louisiana <laughs> that's um. where we have it uh so then after that we don't see britney for months she she had had a very uh, big online presence. She was posting, you know, this podcast started out as a podcast about Britney yeah, Spears. By the Instagram. way, everyone, this, <laughs> this, 
this show's called Britney's Graham because we we love her. We thought we thought her posts were so funny and interesting. You know, like an interesting look into the one was one of the most famous women in the world who seems so just like genuine and real and down to earth and basic for you know lack of a better term. But like in the best way. In the best way. Yeah. That's why we love her so much. And uh, and then so you know she posts regularly and it, and she we saw nothing after this post. There was like a, a something about you know hit me baby. Uh, anniversary basically but not something she had posted and so she just yeah she basically disappears we don't see anything from her after this driving photo and in her conservatorship also she's not supposed to be driving no which we'll find out more about later yes which we will find out more about later too but that did seem a little that you know we were we did kind of identify that as a possible situation that might be going on because we suspected that she probably wasn't able to drive right uh so then on Mar- march 4th 2019 andrew wallet remember he's the guy who's the conservative of her estate he resigns yeah and also we didn't met he asked oh we didn't mention oh. this andrew wallet at the end of 2018 asked for a raise mm-hmm. and he, he petitioned for a raise to almost half a million dollars mm-hmm. a year about 485 i think or something that's like thirty five thousand dollars a month that this man is getting to handle the britney spears estate mm-hmm. and <laughs> conservatorship and then he quits not four months later yes Yes. So he walks away from half a million dollars a year. Andrew Wallet quits and he says, quote, the conservatorship is engaged in numerous ongoing business activities requiring immediate attention and is therefore in the best interest of the, of the conservatee that the acceptance of Wallet's resignation and the issuance of amended letters of conservatorship of the estate occur immediately and without delay. Okay, that's all jargon, whatever, but this is the most important part. He adds, substantial detriment, irreparable harm, and immediate danger will result to the conservatee and her estate if the relief requested herein is not granted on an ex parte basis. So we're, we're like, oh my God, what happened? This guy walked away from so much money. What does he mean? Irreparable harm, substantial detriment. Yeah, so confusing. You know, we, we had thought maybe that he had been in some dirty business dealings. We, our, our opinion was that maybe that was going on. We didn't know. But obviously something big was happening yes. for, to have him walk away from all that money. He's been doing it for over 10 years. Like something's going on. And Brittany, still nowhere to be seen. Nothing. Nothing. No word of her. Not a paparazzi photo. Not a meme posted. Her boyfriend hasn't posted anything of her. Nothing. We're getting nothing of Britney. Until. Until. <laughs> Last week, April, or a couple weeks ago, April 3rd, 2019, this feed that we've been so obsessed with comes live again. Mm-hmm. And what has been a wasteland, oh my God, there's a new meme. The meme is a meme about self-care, about falling in love with taking care of yourself. And it has the caption, we all need to take time for a little quote unquote me, me time. time. With a smiley face. With a smiley face, emoticon, not an emoji. If you follow Britney's gram at all, you know that she is a huge fan of emojis. It's very strange that she would do this normal emoticon. So we, it rang a little false to us. We weren't sure what was going on. Um, and then an hour later, it's reported by TMZ that Britney has checked herself into a mental health facility the previous week. And that would have been the last week of March and that she's going to be there for a month. So that so time that's where we left off. That's where we left okay, off. Okay, so is everyone briefed? Um, yeah, sorry. That's a lot of info we, we know. <laughs> sorry about that. It, it is a lot to go over. But anyway, we're going through our voicemails, and uh, we got this voicemail, and I feel like we should just play it, and then we'll discuss. Yeah, here we go. Hi there. Um, I cannot disclose who I am. Um, I just heard the latest episode. You guys are on to something. Um, I used to be a paralegal for... An attorney that worked um, with Britney's conservatorship, I am no longer with them. Um, and what is happening is disturbing, to say the least. So, um, basically, in rehe- Britney was in rehearsals for Domination. Uh, it came to Jamie's attention, Jamie Spears, that uh, Britney was not taking her medication as prescribed. Uh, she was she was missing a lot of doses and just uh, full on not taking them. So uh, they got her to the doctor. The doctor said, okay, if you don't want these medications, let's get you on a new one. Well, she refused to take the new one. So Jamie said, either you take this medication or the show's off and I'm, I'm, I'm pulling my support and you can't do it. Um, Brittany did not follow Jamie's instructions. And so he was true to his word. He pulled the show. He 
verbatim said, blame it on my illness. Um, and that's when we get the early January Instagram. Fast forward a couple days, um, Brittany's still not following through with her medication. And as you guys have mentioned, she is seen with Sam driving. A big no-no on, um, uh, it's, it's a big rule that she broke. Brittany has been in the, um, in the mental facility since mid-January. Um, of course, the, the, the statement yesterday said uh, she entered last week. That is not true. She's been in there since mid-January. Um, and there is no timeline. Uh, granted, I've been gone. I, I haven't worked at the company or at the, at the firm for, uh, about a little over two weeks now, but there is no end particularly in sight for this stay at this mental facility to, um, to end. Uh, she did not want to go. She, um, I, 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 of course, uh, I'm just a paralegal. I haven't had any contact with her, but, um, but what I understand, this was, uh, not, a decision she made at all. And that's where it cuts off. Oh my God. I mean, chilling. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, I mean, uh, hence the episode right now. Yeah. <laughs> so in case you guys are wondering why this is happening right now. Yeah. We thought it was very important that this information got out immediately. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we did contact this individual uh, after receiving this message and we have been texting with him. We have additional information that he has given us. But first, we just kind of want to talk about uh, and, that voicemail. Yeah. And also, we, we did verify uh, his place of work and yes. everything like that. So yes. we feel it's a very, very credible source. Um so yeah, let's talk about the voicemail first. I mean, there's so much more to come. Yeah. But I guess I was really blindsided because of all my theories and all the things that I thought were possibly going on. I guess one thing that I thought for sure was that it had been Brittany's decision to end domination. Right. Yeah. It did seem, it seemed very, that was not what I was expecting either. I'm so like flustered trying to figure it all out because. I know. <sighs> Do you think, yeah, so I, we don't know if basically she was kind of just, I mean, it seems like she was fed up in general. You know, the it, also these people, you know, can, under this conservatorship, they can make her take medications that she doesn't want to be taking, obviously. Yes. And so, I mean, there have been instances ever since this happened, ever from the moment that Brittany was under the control of this conservatorship, she's been trying to get out. Yes. She's been trying to talk about it. She made some legal steps to attempt. She made a couple different legal steps to try to avoid the situation when it very first happened. She did. And they said she wasn't fit to, she, they, she hired multiple lawyers to try and get out and they said she was not fit to hire a lawyer. Yeah. So how do you do that when? Yeah. <laughs> That's that catch 22 that the, that the right. individuals in the situation get into is that once people have decided you can't make a decision for yourself, you can't make any decisions for yourself. Right. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I guess I had started to construct this narrative that it was Brittany who didn't want to do the residency uh, because in part because Jamie lost a bunch of money doing that. So I didn't even think that it was possible that he would act against his own interests in that way and as his own, his own financial interests in that way. Right. Yeah, it does. It does seem to go against what we had kind of thought was going on. So I, it seems to me like. It was, she was, she's just at her breaking point as yes. far as being in it. So it didn't really matter what consequence was going to happen. She wants to be She wants done. out. Yeah. She, yeah. and also it's the same show. She's doing the same show, you know. Yeah. But I get, this makes me think that she was excited to do the show. Right. And, and the more I've been.